Hello out there in Facebook land. It's Adam Shibley, the creator of TransformationCoach.me. It's live at five Friday night. I'm excited to be here with you. As always, uh, earlier this week, I put a post out asking for some topics for today. And my guy, Adam Whistler, asked to talk about discipline. I love that. Adam's an intern with me here at our studio in Bloomington. And he's a heck of a good guy. So shout out to Adam. Uh, discipline. They're, one of my favorite quotes right now is by a guy named Jocko Willink. He is a retired Navy SEAL. He has a great book out called Extreme Ownership. I highly recommend it. Jocko has a quote where he says, discipline equals freedom. Discipline equals freedom. And I love that because I think it's directly, you can directly apply it to the transformation process. So many times I have people ask me questions along the lines of, you know, Adam, when do I have to, when can I stop thinking about what I'm eating? When do I feel like I'm not on a diet? And my answer is you have to go through the process to make it a lifestyle change and create a new habit. And a lot of times people just aren't willing to have the discipline to put in that work and go through the tough stuff to hack through all those challenges to get to the other side where you can actually enjoy some of the benefits. So let's use a different non-fitness example. Let's say that you were getting ready to retire and you wanted to live six months in Spain, six months in the US. Sounds pretty good, right? And to really fully enjoy that experience, you figure you need to be fluent in Spanish. So you're gonna learn a new language. And to do that, you're gonna to have to show some discipline because you're gonna to need to get some help. So that's the first step. You gotta ask for some help, whether it's an online course, a tutor, whatever. And you have to also realize that doing it for two weeks or four weeks or eight weeks, that's not gonna get you fluent in Spanish. And so you're gonna to have to have a process of several months, maybe six months, maybe a year, maybe a year and a half, maybe multiple years, who knows how, you know, how quick you're gonna take on to this. But you, you have to think, okay, there's gonna be a process. I can't just do this two weeks, I'm not fluent, all right? So once you're fluent though, you can go and fully embrace that whole process of living uh, in Spain and speaking the language. And that's just an example of, you know, having discipline and it paying off in the end. People sometimes feel like they don't want to have a plan with their transformation process. They say, oh, I'm not a planner. I'm not a big planner. Uh, I, I prefer to work unstructured. And I used to think that that had some validity, that per different personality types, you know, some people are planners, some people aren't. But with the transformation process, we just want to make things as easy as possible on you. There's so much stress involved with just life in general. Life's going to throw you a lot of curveballs. So having a plan allows you to take the pressure off of yourself because then it just comes down to, to a decision. I talked about this earlier this week where you can break things down to a simple decision if you have a plan. So you have a goal, you have a plan to help you get to that goal and you map out what could keep you from getting to that goal, you know, your danger zones, have a plan for that as well. And then it just breaks down to a decision. So having the discipline of being able to follow a plan, having some structure, all you have to do is step up and make the right decision. And then you can achieve your goals. All right. So discipline equals freedom. Add a little bit of structure, add a little bit of discipline to your transformation process. I've got a, something new that I've been cooking up that I've been promoting a little bit this week. I want you guys to check it out. Go to transformationcoach.me, our website, www.transformationcoach.me, and check out the Perfect Start course. Uh, it is a free online course. It's the first course I've put up there, and it's gonna help you get your mojo back. It's great for somebody that's launching a transformation, but it's also great for somebody that needs to relaunch and kind of just get their mind right and lay out a battle plan. All right, so check that out. Uh, the perfect start course. Let me know what you think. Next week, we'll go live at five again. Let me know if you have a topic that you would like me to cover. Stay tuned to Transformation Coach Me on our Facebook page. And as always, get out there and own it. Every meal, every workout, every day. We'll see you soon.